and have a bath of vibrant samitni. आज प्रधानमंत्री मोदी नवमी वायब्रंट समीट महात्मा मंदिर होल में उद्घाटन कर वायब्रंट समीट की शुरूआत करी है जय जय गरबी गुजरात की थीम सॉन्ग साथ वायब्रंट समीट की शुरूआत थी है समीट में मोटी संख्या में विविध देश डिग्नेटरी हाजर रहा है उद्योग जगत सहित विविध नेताओं उपस्थित अग्रणीए मंच पर स्थान लीध त्यार मुख्यमंत्री रूपाणीए सौ प्रथम संबोधन कर आमंत्रित मेहमान ने आकार वायब्रंट समीट विजन प्रधानमंत्री मोदी आभार मान्य बाद में अग्रणी उद्योगपति समीट में संबोधन कर समीट में दिग्गज उद्योगपति मुकेश अंबाणी पंकज देसाई सुधीर मेहता परिमल अथवाणी एन चंद्रशेखरन सहित मोटी संख्या में तमाम अग्रणी जोड़ाया है तो देश जाता उद्योगपति साथ विदेशी मेहमान संख्या में जोड़ाया पांच देश प्रमुखों पहली वक्त आ समीट में जोड़ाया Uh, Prime Minister and Chief Minister, I am so grateful to you for giving me a distraction from Brexit, uh, which has come to dominate our lives in the United Kingdom. So thank you very much. You don't know how much uh, I am grateful for being here. And it is an honour to be involved in a delegation of some 75 people from 15 countries of the Commonwealth. Uh, at this vibrant uh, Gujarat ninth anniversary, and I congratulate you both on putting trade, enterprise, investment at the forefront of this state's activities, because that is the key to the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth is 53 nations, a third of the world's population. 40% of which are under 30, and where it is 19% more competitive to do business than in any other trading arrangement. And of course, India is at the beating heart of it, and it is incumbent upon India to take the role of leadership for the future because of its. Today, I take pride. In welcoming the pioneer and architect of vibrant Gujarat Summit, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, it was his vision to place Gujarat on the map of India as the preferred destination for doing business. Sir, your visionary initiatives, such as Make in India, Skill India, and Stand Up India. Have made India one of the fastest growing economy in the world. तो जय जय गरवी गुजरात न लोकप्रिय गुजराती गीत थी वायब्रन समीट नो प्रारंभ थो जाता पति पत्नी की जोड़ी प्रहर वोरा संपदा वोरा जम आ गीत गाई ने प्रारंभ कर गुजरात तने वंदन 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 गुजरात तने वंदन ते अणहिलवार नरंग ते सिद्ध राज जय संग ते रंग थकी पण अधिक सरस रंग हशे सत्व रे मार शुभ शकुन दिसे मान शोभ शे बीति गई चेरा जन घूम नर्मदा सा जय जय गर्मी गुजरात गुजरात captains of the industries and my dear friends it is an honor to be speaking at the 9th vibrant gujarat global summit i say with great great pride that i have been present at every one of the summits and i am proud that gujarat my home state 
has inspired the growth narrative for New India. Honorable Prime Minister, while we all know you are the architect who conceptualized the vibrant Gujarat summit, nobody could have imagined how distant corner of the country would reflect on your dream and trigger a movement that would transform India industrial landscape. This unique investor model has been a key trigger that has spurred national growth, resulting in investment of several lakhs crores across our country. Vibrant Gujarat was the first indication of your tremendous foresight. This summit had all your defining stamps, towering vision, unprecedented scale, strict governance, and flawless executions. Honorable Prime Minister, you have fundamentally restored confidence across the world that India will be the key engine for global economic growth. Your ability to stabilize the economic fundamentals with the low inflation rates, strict management of fiscal deficits, introduction of the larger tax reform since independence, establishing the bankruptcy code, and strong relationship with key nations across the world has cemented India's place as one of the best nations to invest in. You have also proven that managing growth and managing the biggest challenge mankind faces, climate change, need not be a diverging goals. The 2018 United Nations Champion of Earth Award you received recently is a fitting recognition of your success in not just pioneering the ambitious global solar alliance, but more importantly, putting India firmly on the track towards becoming the second largest renewable power nation in the world by 2020. The statistics say it all. Since the 2017 Vibrant Gujarat, India, under your watch, has yet again made an unprecedented 53-point jump in the ease of doing business index. India, under your watch, has become the largest beneficiary of the Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana that has reached a staggering 90% of our nation's population in just four years and replaced polluting fuels with LPG is the world's largest poverty elevation program. The Ayushyaman Bharat Yodna that will provide healthcare facility and insurance to over 100 million families is the biggest government sponsored healthcare scheme in the world. Every one of this program bestows the much needed dignity to our fellow Indians. Every one of this program reduces the several levels of inequality that confronts us. Every one of these programs gives a chance to all fellow Indians. Honorable Prime Minister, you have fundamentally reshaped India. Never anywhere in recent history has such a massive segment of population been given the opportunity for upliftment in a such a short period. You have truly shown that Sapka Saath Sapta Vikas means. Honorable Chief Minister, the increase in global confidence in Gujarat is a result of your continued focus on the investor friendly business environment. Our investment in Gujarat in the past five years exceed rupees 50,000 crores, and we are further accelerating our investments. Over the next five years, our investment will include the world's largest solar hybrid park in Kutch. The anticipated investment in this park is rupees 30,000 crores. We also plan to establish a one gigawatt data center park in Mundra, a one million tons of co copper smelting and refining project, a cement and clinker manufacturing unit in Lakpat, an integrated lithium battery manufacturing complex and expand our photovoltaic manufacturing capabilities. 
Overall, we anticipate a total rupees 55,000 crores of investment in all these projects. This will lead to the creation of over 50,000 new direct and indirect jobs in the state of Gujarat. Honorable Chief Minister, on behalf of the Adani Group, thank you for your support. You have our commitment that we will continue to serve the people of Gujarat and India in line with our core philosophy of growth with goodness. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. We now invite Mr. David Farr, Chairman, Emerson Electrics. Thank you. I would like to chief, uh, thank the Chief Minister Rupande and the state government of Gujarat for inviting me and my company Emerson to once again join this great day of discussions. It's an honor and a privilege to be here today. And I join others in welcome Prime Minister Modi, whose attendance here today shows the importance of Gujarat, the global competitive India economy. Emerson is a global technology, engineering, manufacturing company. Our products and services are helping to create a, a wide cross-section of India's economy. Energy, chemical, refining, power, food and beverage, across many industries across India today. We've been operating in India since the early 1980s. Today we have a total of 50 facilities, sales offices, service centers, 11 manufacturing facilities, and five engineering centers, and we employ nearly 7,000 people here in India, a lot of engineering for our global environment. India is an important market for Emerson. Today, it's our seventh largest market in sales and continues to be a very important market for us for strategic investments. We've invested over a billion dollars in manufacturing sites, service centers, and we're involved right now in a new service center, operation engineering center, worth about $200 million in Chakan in the Pune region. We invest in India because we believe in the future of this country for innovation, for growth, exporting products and services. We are encouraged by the progress being made by the national government, by the state governments, for support of economic, economic development and making it easier for businesses like Emerson to do business here. Emerson has established a regional Indian supply structure, and today we manufacture nearly 70% of the products we sell in India right here in India. Our short-term strategy is to drive that to over 80%, and our vision is to get there in the next couple years. We're, we're using these facilities for Southeast Asia, for India, Middle East, and Africa. We truly want to design in India, innovate in India, and make in India, sell in India, and export out of India. This remains a very strategic investment location for Emerson in the world we serve. It's also important to understand that technology and automation are creating a tremendous change. This means opportunities, also means challenges for the business community and the governments. Emerson's working with our, with our Indian customers and the governments and around the world to, to make this digital transformation happen smoothly. It's going to change global competitiveness. It's going to change safer environments. It's going to be more sustainable, and it's going to impact all of our lives. And if we don't make this transformation, we will not succeed. More and more jobs in the manufacturing and energy industries are requiring an increasing technical knowledge and training. A recent study here in India said that 40% of the jobs in India will be impacted over the next five years. and will take reskilling, retraining. This is a huge challenge and one that we all must take on. I hear the same issue around the world, and we must continue to train and invest in our people and technology. So, the Gujarat Pravas no Bijo Divas and a Sopratam Mahatma Mandir Kate Temu Agman Tayu and a Tiarbad Jerite Batak Temnekari Hati and a Tiarbad Sharuat Hitre Vibrant Summit Bejar Ugnisni. 
तो हम संबोधन दौर चालू है प्रतिनिधिमंडल साथ बैठक ना दौर हम चाल से बपोरे बे पांच विविध बिजनेस डिग्नेटरी साथ बैठक करवा है प्रधानमंत्री तो बिजनेस टू बिजनेस बिजनेस टू गवर्मेंट बैठक योजा बपोरना समय तो अमदावाद एरपोर्ट पर आमंत्रित जीते स्वागत करायु जीते गांधीनगर तमने लवाया दृश्य सवेरे महात्मा मंदिर वायब्रंट समीट ने प्रधानमंत्री मोदी शुरूआत करी दृश्य